Hi everybody and thank you for watching. I wanted to review how I set up the Flightscope Meva Plus outside my backyard. I've looked into several flight simulator models and realized that unless I put it in the garage in a dark setting with um, you know spending a lot of money tracking projector and so on and so forth it would not be feasible. My garage is too small and we use it for our cars. Also, um, the high cost of a projector uh, would just not be feasible. So, uh, this is the only uh, simulator that works with sun, not necessarily at night, and uh, you're able to see all your uh, golf shots very nicely. It connects wonderfully with a program called E6 Connect Software. And um, I'll mainly review with this video on how I set it up. This 13 foot canopy, which is nine feet high, I'm six foot one, so I'm able to take a full swing with the driver. Uh, it is a close call with, uh, uh, with a long driver, uh, but uh, I do just fine. I, I rarely hit the top of the canopy, and even if I do, it's just, uh, you know, it's made of, of, of fabric, so it's not a big deal. Um, but I'm able to take a full swing without fear, which is uh, great, and all my clubs. And basically what I've done, the canopy itself allows me to set a light at the top of the canopy, and I'll show that in a minute. Uh, this is a motion sensing light, LED. So at night when I walk up, the light turns on and I'm able to uh, play at any time of the day or night. This is actually set up to a short indoor setting, not an outdoor setting. The short indoor setting allows you to put the simulator eight feet behind the ball and have the ball fly forward eight feet as well into a net. That's, that's an indoor, short indoor setting. Uh, it's enough for the simulator, for the radar to be able to uh, analyze the shot and give you a good prediction in terms of the distance, direction, and so on and so forth. And so this is actually, even though this is outdoor, it's a short indoor setup. Uh, what I have in front is uh, a basic net to catch the balls. And I have an additional net behind it, which is uh, about 15 feet by 13 feet, which wraps around the, the canopy a little bit, um, just to make sure that any stray balls don't leak out on top or uh, on, on the side when um, when I miss hit it, uh, or especially with close chips, you know, uh, the, using the sand wedge or a lob wedge, it goes pretty high, so it sneaks underneath the net, the top of the net. So I wanna make sure my neighbors still like me, and what I did is I've gotten an additional net to protect the outer portion of this net, tying it all the way up to the canopy, and I'll show that as well. You hit the ball up here, I wrap the net all the way up there. That way no balls can escape any miss hits. In terms of the actual setup, I have the simulator in the back, bottom right of the screen, which uh, ties into the iPad. And the iPad is connected to an HDMI cable which mirrors to the TV that's set with a pole mount onto this canopy. The iPad is connected to a steak, an $8 steak from uh, Home Depot with a clamp to hold it in place. There's a HDMI cable which extends through the can down the steak and then up the canopy um, what I did here, I have actually regular grass, but uh, I did dedicate artificial grass turf underneath the canopy, and I cut out a square the same size as a hitting mat. That way I can lift it, move it, and uh, replace it if I need to. I've created a level surface, measured to the T, eight feet. That way I can set 
the Mevo Plus at uh, 17 degrees for flight scope use or 12 degrees for using the E6 Connect. And then again, it's another eight feet to the net. What I've also done is I, there, there weren't many trays that were comfortable to use. And so I, I actually took a regular ball tray and cut the bottom of it, the base of it, so I can lower it to the height of the mat.